that's exactly. Emily Blunt in A Quiet Place Part Two. Okay, so uh, what is, first of all, how do you, how, you're not driving, clearly. No, and so, I mean, I'm really proud of John for that shot because um, it was choreographed for two weeks. That is not a CGI bus, that is a real bus. John Krasinski, her husband, yes. uh, wrote and directed, directed this one. Both, both the first both one and now this. Yes, and then there's a stunt driver on top of the car. And so really my life is in wow. his hands. So I said to him before I looked up at him and I went, well, I hope you're good because my life is in your hands. And he just <laughs> leant down and he went, I'm the best. And he really was, you know. But it's sort of terrifying. I've never done a stunt like that. Wow. And I sort of questioned whether John might love me at yeah. all, you know. Had as, he changed the will recently or anything? That's so interesting, I'm gonna check on that. Okay. I think he was sort of hoping for a slightly closer confrontation with that bus, but. So what, uh, what can you tell us about in this one, what's happening? So there's a great bus story. Oh, okay, <laughs> we, we heard that. <laughs> what else? I can tell you nothing. Really? Nothing. You, I mean, I, the, the, really? I mean, I mean, there's a bit of that, you know, going on, so. Yeah. <laughs> Still quiet? Yeah, still, you still got to be quiet. Yeah, there's a bit of that, and then there's a bit of that walking around. And there's, and there's a baby now. There's a baby now, so good luck with Where the baby. Where'd the baby come from? No, the first one. I had it in the bathtub. <laughs> it hasn't grown up? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a direct continuation. Yeah, I see. Okay. You see. All right. Yeah. Um, I was told that you've brought me something. It's your birthday. Sorry about that. So I wanted to bring you something. It's from, this is really elegant, isn't it, as I sort of just turn around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, well placed, lads. Um, this is for you. Happy birthday. So this is our creature. Hasn't actually come out yet. So you get the first one. Wow. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Terrifying. Yes. That's for you. And this, I'm quite excited about. This is from the first movie. Do you remember the child on the bridge? You got wiped out. I sure at do. The beginning of the film. Yes. This is the actual space rocket that he was holding. So, I know, poor kid. It was over for him as soon as he turned that on. So you can have a bit of fun with just the lights, but then if you really want to run the gauntlet and potentially die. Right? Wow. Remember this? Yes. Yes. That's for you, from me and, and John. It has a little basket to sleep in. It has a little sleepy little basket. Sleeping basket. But I really thank you because you've been so amazing about the movie and the movies and so oh, supportive and we love you. And well, thank first you. of all, my pleasure and uh, y'all are both so talented individually and then I, I love that you're doing this movie and, and it's, thank it's, you. it's really, I love scary movies anyway. I know. It's I know. really I good. was sure you were going to scare me today, so I was slightly on edge. But, mm. yeah. Don't say it. Please don't. Is there someone in here? No. I no. mean, how does someone even fit? in these things. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, they're going to ruin your present if they leap out. They're going to... No, come on. Uh, no. Uh, no. no. Come on. No. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you... I, uh, we have, we uh, have a little idea, so I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself with Chris Martin. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. I just feel particularly bad because I really actually love Chris Martin's music so much, obsessed with Coldplay, yep. so I feel like there's just sort of a way I can make it up to him. All right. All right. After the break. At some point after the break. After the break, yeah. you're going to make it up to him. Big time. Yes. We'll be back.